Hi, welcome to my channel. And today we're going to review another game. This time we're going to review five good things and five bad things that I found in Apex Legends. Before we start, I just want to remind you guys you can all come and see me on my Twitch channel, the link is in the description below. So, let's jump right into the list of 10 good and bad things that I found in Apex Legends. We will start with the 5 good things. Number 1. Intense. This game has a very fast pace. Even when you don't have to move all the time, it definitely feels like you need to. You can't really know when someone will attack you. And that's great the intensity of the game. Number 2. Based on skills. Most multiplayer games are based on the skill of the player rather than the strength of the character. In Apex Legends, it's not different. I heard a lot of people say things like the ca this character sucks or no one play this character. But the truth is, it's not the character, it's the player. Number 3 smooth moving. I really enjoy the way the character moves, whether it's running, walking, climbing, or using spatial abilities. The movement is so smooth and fast, and it is so much fun to play it. Number 4. Shooting. Every shooter game has its own mechanics. In this game, the aiming is very accurate, and it is also challenging because of the fast phase of the game. I also like the idea that you can hit your enemies from far away with almost every weapon. Doesn't mean that you necessarily kill them, but the idea of hitting them from far away, it is so much fun. Number 5. Spatial Abilities Every character in this game has their own spatial abilities. I really like the large variety of spatial ability that this game has to offer. It helps the player to build a game strategy that only that player can do, which makes it very personal. You could probably see in the video that I played with a person named Angry Ape Man. This guy is an amazing person, artist, and a Twitch streamer. So, in the description, you will see the link to his tweet channel. The 5 bad thing. Number 1. Tactics only. This game is based on tactics, which means that there is no strategy that the team can make before the match starts. I didn't like the idea of not having a simple strategy, because sometimes when you play with people that you don't know, they might take themselves as the leaders of the team and then they are getting far away from each other, which leads to losing the game. Number 2. Currency In this game, you have three types of coins for different uses. Apex coins, rafting materials, and legend tokens. It is possible to buy this coin with real money, and it's also possible to gain these coin points through gameplay. My problem with it, for an example, is that if you want to earn this coin through gameplay, you will need to play for hours just to unlock one new character. Number 3. Loading Screen Issues After encountering problems with loading the game, I looked online and saw a lot of people that having an issue where the game does not load. In my case, I'm waiting for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I get a message that says that the game is not able to connect. And only after I'm trying to reconnect the game, it works. Number 4. Collecting Ammunition there are a lot of rare items in the game that it's hard to find. 
ammunition, however, shouldn't be one of them. I find myself quite a lot with the gun and there is no ammunition for it in the near area. Not long after, I find myself running around with empty weapons while being attacked by my enemies. Number 5. No third person. Unfortunately for me, there is no third person mode in this game. I am much better at third person shooters. I really wish that it would be possible to choose between them. That was the list. I am not a multiplayer player myself, but this game is really fun, even for me when I'm playing with friends. In conclusion, although there are some glitches from time to time, like any other multiplayer game, and although it is takes some time or real money to unlock a new character that you really, really want to play, you can still find yourself dwelling into this game for hours. What draws me to the game, by the way, is the intensity. I really like those intense games. If you are an Apex Legend player, please let me know in the comments below what is your favorite part in this game. So, that's all for the video. If you enjoy this content, please don't forget you can subscribe if you want. And if you want to say anything else, comment, you know the drill. Thank you guys so much for being here. I truly appreciate you all. You should all be thankful for being who you are because you are amazing. I'll see you next time.